Hello. If you are just watching this video, you were meant to watch it, and this is going to give a message for those of you who might be experiencing some change or some wanting to change within yourself. Um, this is for you. If you tapped into this video, you tapped into this video for a reason. <clears throat> this is a strong message that I've been guided to um, tell since all day today. I've been having... Um, a change within myself and this is in multiple ways physically emotionally mentally spiritually um i've been changing the way i think the way i feel um you know asking a lot for spirit to clear a lot of um things that are not serving my highest good and sometimes those things that get cleared or that are being cleared they're not going to be people you want to lose right away, but I'm going to tell you people, places, and things that you want to lose right away. But when you do, they're going to free you, free you in a sense where you're going to feel so enlightened, so free. Um, and I'm I'm on a journey here, right? And I'm going to tell you guys, I want to tell you the most beautiful thing that happened today so that you could understand just how, how beautiful spirit is and how much they listen to you and how much they're there to guide you. Um, on my way out of um so i booked a facial like out of nowhere i was like okay um send me to someone <clears throat> and i booked this lady and as i'm there she was talking about reiki the whole time and all this stuff and i didn't mention it and that was one of the first signs today because i'm working on myself and investing my money on myself she was talking about reiki and changing and this and that and her father's dying and i told her i was feeling energy before she even said it then from there i leave there as i'm leaving there a blue jay, after I pick up my daughter, flies. When I say right in front of my windshield, right in front, and as I had this book on me, by the way, Animals Speak, I had this book on me and I was reading on the blue jay, I was reading on the crow, I was reading on things. I had just asked for these energies, for this to happen, for this change, and these signs started to come right away. I wanna tell you this because I need you to um, clearly understand what I am saying to you right now, okay? When you're asking for things to change in your life, you will see the signs. You have to, first of all, when you see them, really appreciate them because our spirit guides love to surprise us. They love to make us feel good and they love when we appreciate the things that they do. Not that they need your appreciation because they don't because they're going to do what they need to do anyway, but they are gonna not going to impose on your free will. They're always going to allow you to live your journey as it is, okay? What you need to understand is when you ask for things, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this. This is, this is a method to my madness right here with this story. I go to the lady. I get my facial. She's talking about spirit and, and, and Reiki and all this stuff. And then she starts massaging my hands and feet. She took away the swelling. I knew she was kind of like a healer. I was telling her that. And she's a Sagittarius. So we were talking about stuff. And then I leave there. The blue jay comes in my in, in my, my face. As I'm sitting down parked waiting for my daughter to come back from the store, I let her go in the store to get a bag of chips. I'm watching... Um, a, a yellow butterfly i associate my spirit guys with butterflies i mean with yellow with the color yellow stays pass by me as i was in the car praying for my next transition what i want next and what i what i want with the boundaries i'm setting where i'm going next what i really want out of my life and now now that i'm really knowing what i want they're actually bringing it to me quickly when i say quickly here another thing that happened i go to um i go to yoga and I get in yoga, and this lady was a new teacher. She wasn't the same one as before. She's sitting. Do you know what she said? Now everybody knows. My tagline is go with the flow. My name is Florina. They call me Flo. She says, tonight I want you to go with the flow. I want you to feel the flow. Let the flow flow through you. Flow, flow. She kept saying flow. I was like, bruh. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, no, I'm not kidding you. Spirit guys are like, you want to do this? You're taking the steps. We're going to show you. As you're taking these steps and you're doing what you need to do. Another thing they showed me while I was at yoga. I cannot eat anything heavy for the next month. I have to keep it plant-based, light. Because my stomach was fine before I went to yoga. And I went there and it started to show me. She asked, she said, listen to your body. What is it saying to you? I'm like, my body's saying to me, I have to eat light. I have to eat plants. I have to start cleansing my stomach. And I have to, every health is in the gut. The gut, the gut, the gut. Everybody wants to know why they're sick. It's our guts. They need to be cleansed, cleared, and removed all toxins from the gut. 
That's the main object objective. The gut. Cleanse the gut and the rest of the body will appear. I promise you. Just like when you heal the adult, the child, when you heal the child, the adult will appear. Then I come home. I'm sitting down and I'm talking to my sister-in-law. And of course, she's one of my spirit guides and in this world. And I say it all the time. She's one of my angels and spirit guides in this dimension here in this on this realm. And she's sitting down and she says to me, I was driving by like a barn and I, I was at the yoga barn. That's what it's called. The barn, the place I was at. She said, I was driving by and there was a barn and she said, it said flow on it, right? It said flow on it. <clears throat> she says, it said flow on it. <clears throat> and you know, it's crazy. I was at the yoga studio saying, oh God, I would love a place like this so I could like have meetings with people and I could do healings and Reiki. This barn is perfect. I was like, I would even live in a place like this. It's beautiful. And what does she say? on the way home she saw a place with my name on it and it said and it was a barn i was in yoga eleanor praying for a place like that i said i would live here like i would sleep here like i would have a bed right there i don't need a kitchen or none of that because i'm plant-based all salads and shit i need a fridge and that's it you i'm really serious when i say this fuck a kitchen because when you have a kitchen now you want to cook shit and eat all fattening stuff right so sometimes when you live like you're off the grid you like you have you're forced to kind of like do different things you know a little shower that's open with the glass and i could look outside while i'm butt-ass naked showering those are the types of things i want to do take a bath under the full moon and glass you know what i mean so she says that as um that cbd got you choking uh, so she says to me that and then i was talking to her well i'm not going to talk about that that's my manifestation and we don't talk about private manifestations in public because you don't want people to distract or ruin it or you don't want negative energies coming in and trying to ruin what you have planned and your plan should be to yourself until they are manifesting into this reality you should keep yeah, you should keep your, um, I don't tell people nothing when, that I want to do. I tell people my dreams because I, I, you know, maybe somebody will see it and be like, hey, I got you, Flo. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's, um, so what my point is right now, the amazing signals and signs that angels and your spirit guides are giving to you. First of all, we are manifesting at a very, very, very high rate right now. The manifestation properties and the energies that are, that are transpiring right now, they are really asking you to be in, al in alignment with your true self now a lot of people would see this and be like i can't i'm not ready i don't want to let that go i don't want to let that go i don't want to let them go i don't want to let it go i don't want to let that toxic partner go that's fine everybody's on their journey and we all do things in a steady pace and what i want to say to you is not to be hard on yourself as well when you're hard on yourself and you abuse yourself saying i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have done that you know like i do it sometimes when i'm guilty i ate that i can't believe i ate it oh my god i should have never ate that i didn't want to eat that you know oh, i smoked another cigarette i said i wasn't gonna smoke today i wasn't gonna smoke. that kind of obsession that kind of behavior will drive you insane so what i did was i threw my hands up surrendered to god and was like i'm I, i'm i just take over here from here and i've been surrendering a lot this past two weeks another thing that happened um the significant day for me i just gotta say with all the spirit animals and the hawk is my spirit um my animal totem and it protects me and, and guards me actually the the leopard the black um leopard is um the, the jaguar the black jaguar um is my um is my uh animal totem but um the hawk is my spirit guide animal okay so today there's the spirit guide was fun. i i shit you not this the, the this is a real i'm not just saying this the hawk was over there and i was like in my mind i was like come over here hawk come over here and i took a video of it i think i posted it on snapchat or instagram and it started coming towards me it started coming towards me on top of my car like not on top but like right on top in the sky and i was like Today was very significant. Then I stopped on the way back from yoga in this little waterfall area by my house that we have. And I started talking to the spirit animals. And I started talking to the water. And I was talking to the earth. I was talking to Mother Earth. And I was asking her to forgive us for all the pain that we've caused her. And for always standing by our side. For being so kind to us when we've pr pretty much been pretty shitty to her in a lot of ways, right? Um, for loving us no matter what and teaching me how to be a mother that way to accept my child for anything that she will bring to me to be patient to guide her um, you know and I'm gonna say I asked for help in many ways I was like please spirit can you help me like I need help with this I need help with that and what do you know it I, I drive up 
and there's a text message. Somebody texts me. She goes, hey, Flo, I think this is what you do. You should do for your YouTube. I'm not telling you what to do, but I just want to help you. Her name is Leo Sun Pisces Moon on YouTube, and she's, I love her. You know, the funny thing is she's the reason I started doing tarot. Started watching her, and I was like, I think I could do this. And then I started doing it. And why is she the one who texted me, helping me? She's the reason I started doing tarot. Do you see what I'm trying to say, the synchronicities today alone, right? So that's just, if that doesn't like blow your mind, just today, the day I had, because I made one, two, three little changes about myself. Um, working on, tomorrow I have past life regression therapy. That's two and a half hours. She's going to hypnotize me to look into my past life. You know, I've been investing in yoga. I invested in, in a full facial today. I, I'm investing in my health. I went and bought some yoga gear and stuff. I want to get into it. And tonight when I was at yoga, instead of being a heart on myself, I was like, all right, I'll get there. I, you know, I just started exercising again, really, if you want to really keep it a buck. But the signs, the synchronicities and the messages, it's not about me. What I'm telling you, all the things that I have experienced today, you could say like, I don't care what you experienced. No, that's not why I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is when you call in your ancestors, your guides, God, angels, love, light, peace within you, and accept everyone for who they are. Don't try to change nobody. You try to let that go a little bit and you try to ease up on trying to control everything around you because the universe is going to do everything it's going to do anyway. You can't control COVID. You can't control idiots. You can't control people driving like assholes. You can't. All you can do is drive safer be more careful like well that asshole should be careful because well you know what that asshole is going to continue being that asshole you're not going to change them all you can do is work on yourself you understand what i'm trying to say to you when here's it's like i want to say it like louder than i'm saying it and just like be in your like face and grab you and shake you and be like listen when you listen with your ears through your heart and you hear the sounds and you know that instead of working against you, every single thing, animal, place, spirit, tree, car, human, everything works with you instead of against you. And you create that balance and you stop blaming yourself and putting yourself down when you don't do something right. You're healed ancestors. When you don't do something right, when you don't do something right, don't punish yourself. Stop telling yourself, I'm worthless, I'm, I can't do this, I don't deserve it. You're ac actually absolutely wrong. You can, you will, and you will. It's not easy, but if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? The whole world would be like, I got this, like, look at me. like. But no, everybody can't do it. But that's why you can do it. You see what I'm saying? I know you can do it. Because if I can do it, anybody can do it. And what is do it? Do what? Do whatever you feel is best for you. Take action to proceed in the journey that you have envisioned for yourself since the day you can remember. Just because you're in an environment, in your home situation, or your life, or your parents, and they were in cycles, you don't have to repeat those cycles. And I know it's hard because... Sometimes when you're in the cycle, you don't know how to break the cycle because you become a part of it. So that wheel is constantly turning. And I'm again, I'm thinking about the hamster on the wheel. And they just keep going and going around in circles. And if they don't stop to get water and food, they'll be stuck on that wheel forever. So you have to break that cycle by just jumping off of it. Jump out of the cycle. Yeah, we take action. We take steps. We take the necessary... It, precautions in everything that we do if we, if we really listen when people really want to change they want to change they want they want to change they're going to do it they're going to do it now i'm going to tell you another thing if you're trying to change who you are and you go around the people that do the things that you are trying to change from and you stay around those people now you are inviting that energy back into your life for instance if you want to stop smoking weed for instance and somebody around you just smokes weed all day long and you hang out with them. You might as well just smoke weed. That's not weed, that's CBD. It's totally different, okay? All right, my head. 
I don't care, but it doesn't bother me because I'm not around you all day and you don't smoke all day. You take a pull or two a night. I'm not, I'm talking about toxic shit. People that just light up a blunt and they're kind of, all they do is smoke all day long. Like they can't even think straight. Here's the thing, like being pretty much pretty sober, my like for a long time now, right? Like when I say pretty, pretty much pretty sober, meaning like my head's on completely straight. Like it's not twisted. I'm not walking backwards. I'm not confused. I never wake up saying who am I? I don't do. I don't get drunk high. None of that shit. Acting crazy no more. Right? I know what I'm doing today. I'm on point. I'm on. I'm, now I'm saying that I drink. I'm on point. No, I don't even. I just. I just don't fuck with it. What I'm trying to tell you is. I go around people that smoke weed all day and they drink and all that and I, they just change. Once I see a person's behavior changing because of a substance, now we know that spirit's taking over you. It's not the drug, it's not the alcohol, it's it's it's, it's spirit. Hi, love. What's what's up, baby? Yes, I'm gonna give you one right now. Give me a kiss. Right now. I'm coming. And I wanna, cause I wanna stay up, stay up, cause like I have an hour, cause. Cause you okay? That's why I want to take a shower. And... Okay. All right. All right. Why are you saying like old lady? All right, guys. So I just want to tell you, I love you, and God loves you, and the Spirit loves you, and the angels love you. Burps. And Eliana burps you. <laughs> and everything that you wish for, and everything that you desire on oh, this. Oh, mommy. It's sorry, Eliana. I'm not yelling at you. What's the matter? I'm in the middle of talking and you're interrupting me. I don't like when you do that. No, I'm gonna beat you after. You're totally wrong. She always thinks I'm gonna. I'm not gonna yell at you after. But can you calm down? Can you just shut up? Can you? Can you? Wait, wait. Shut your mouth. 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 Wait, wait. Wait. Shut your mouth. Wait, shut. What do you? Hold, Eliana, please be quiet for one second. Please, thank you. What do you mean by its spirit? What do you mean? What do I mean by spirit? Spirit, your sp oh, this is what I'm saying. This is why I have to do this. Spirit is your spirit. Your spirit, spirit guides, spirit animals, spirit, Mother Earth is spirit. The everything is energy. Energy is spirit. Spirit is energy. It's pretty much the same con concept. There's positive energy, negative energy. There's positive spirit, negative spirit. There's all types of energy and spirit surrounding us all day, all the time. And I don't know about anybody else, but when I open my eyes, I can see it. I can see it on um, like little, I don't know, they look like little worms or something, but that's all energy, you know what I mean? So, oh, when I say drugs don't take over you, it's not the drugs, it's spirit. Oh, yeah, um, so you know that there's energies and entities that actually make people do drugs and stay addicted because they were addicts in their lifetime. And so, yeah, um, so... So, um, just so you understand, drugs, when people do drugs, and, and I know this, like, I've, I've witnessed it, experienced it firsthand, and also seen people do it, right? When you do drugs, um, <clears throat> and you can't stop, like, you can't stop smoking weed, or you can't stop drinking, or you can't, you know, whatever drugs you're addicted to, or whoever around you is addicted, they have a negative spiritual entity attached to them. Because they get high with you through osmosis. Osmosis is, I don't know if you guys know, but that's when you get high, a spirit around you feels high as well. So if you're doing any type of uh, rec recreational or have a hard drug, that spirit attachment is actually getting high with you. And so a lot of people say, oh, you stop feeling high because your body, the tolerance, it could be that or it could be that now you're not getting high no more. Now you're just feeding spirits with the drugs so you're doing the drugs and they're getting high and you're continuously feeding them and you're feeding and they never have enough they are never ever ever satisfied they never have enough and they will never have enough so Mom. yes baby so i guess what i see this little this little light dot but mm -hmm. it's not like changing color or anything mm -hmm. it's just moving but i don't know where it went by the tree right no, it was like up in the sky. Yeah, because that's a UFO. <laughs> so, oh, hold on. So, so what I'm saying to you is the more you do these things. Wow, you live on the third floor and a small crow was in your apartment. Uh, crows are a spiritual awakening. They, you know, they represent transformation, death and a rebirth. So people associate crow with death like, oh, that's somebody's going to die. No. 
there's a transformation happening. One time there was a white pigeon on top of my on on top of my um, roof, and it's weird because my sister was like, "She, you need to see this," and I was like, "What?" And I come out and it's a freaking yo, it's like this big, the white pigeon, and it was on top of the roof. She goes, "I felt like I needed to call you." I'm like, "That's there. That's a reaper. That's a mm-hmm. brand new beginning. White, right? The color of white purity, whatever. Not that other colors are not pure. There's other pure colors, but." White being the purest, brightest, whitest light, right? So it's white light, right? Um, energy. And and crows are death and a transformation. So like I said, if you want to change your habits, you got to understand to like... When we say let go of attachments, spiritual entities and attachments attach ourselves, attach themselves to us through many forms, right? It could be through negative thoughts. They love that. That's their favorite. First of all, they, they feed off negative energy. They feed... Negative entities feed off of negative people so if you have somebody who's constantly depressed the reason why they can't get out of it it's not because they can't get out of it it's not because they don't want to get out of it it's because they have an energy attachment to them that needs to be cleared okay some people are born with their brain sort of and not in alignment and you know god also knows there's mistakes that happen right and that's okay and we have people like that in the world but most people like i was just going to say and and you're not you're not maybe people are not going to like hearing this like 80% of the people that swear they're ADHD and bipolar and depressed, that's not that. They just have spiritual energy around them that they don't understand and they don't know how to work with. And so it's working against them. I know this because when I was going through my depression, addiction, everything bad. I'm just going to say it was all bad for five, six years straight, right? I tried everything, every doctor, every pill, every therapist, every rehab, every NA meeting. They helped but until I recognized it was a spiritual issue, it continued. And then once I rec- recognized it, it's, it stopped. It didn't stop fully because I still had a lot of work to do, but it stopped nagging me is the point. When I recognize, when I said, this is a ne- this is a demonic energy. This is a dark energy following me. This is not me. I don't want to do drugs. I don't want to be a bad person. It's somebody else. When I recognize that it's not me, and I didn't blame anyone. I just said, I know that there's attachments. There's there's cycles in the family. There's, you know, long history of, we don't know, addic- addictive behaviors. And also in the family that I had to break that cycle. When I recognized it, it's, you know, I recognized that it was a difference. And that's it. And I changed. And because you have to recognize the spiritual attachments, man. They attach people. Somebody, listen, I'm going to tell you guys something else, okay? Um there could also be somebody around you that has a spiritual attachment that could affect you that could drain your life force and you know what that person is so immune to it they're so dark with the dark energy they are so dark and deep into that darkness that they don't even recognize or realize that that dark energy is next to them because they're so used to it because they're dark themselves right there's we we know people like that and when we get around it when we get around, my, my sister-in-law is highly empathic. Highly. This, she doesn't even know it. And I'm so empathic. She'll feel my feelings, I'll feel hers. And we don't want to even... I'll, I'll ask her, are you okay? She's like, yeah, what? I'm like, yeah, I know something's up. Because we're both retarded and I lay in the bed going, oh. But it's not us. It's an energy. It's people with their attachments and their darkness. And we have to deal with it because as light workers who came into a dark situation dealing with dark not saying that my family's dark and depressing and but sometimes they fuck they are yes you know what i'm saying and everybody's is everybody's is let's just keep it a buck you know um well gina you're on meds for depression and i'm gonna tell you i would never recommend to anybody hey get off your your depression medication you have to be ready to realize that you're not depressed you're just not fulfilling you know what depression is it's 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 your spirit knocking on your body saying hey i'm not comfortable here i'm not happy this is not how why i came here when you're live when you're not living your life's purpose and you're steering away from healing you're steering away from the truth you're not stepping into your shadow self you're not really putting in the work and i'm not saying you're not gina that's not what i'm saying when you're not doing that stuff, that's depre- that's depression. Depression, ADHD, ADD, attuned to different dimensions. ADD, okay? People who are ADD, they can't focus. You know why? Because they have so much spiritual energy around them that they don't know how to focus. And I had that. I, I couldn't sleep. 
bipolar disorder, multiple personality disorder. That's not, those are not those name brands that these doctors put on it so they can give you a pill. Multiple personality, the truth, multiple personality disorder. So, doesn't it sound to you like you have different spiritual personalities around you that you need to tend to and ask them what do they want from you and why are they around and why are they bothering you and heal that? Once you do, it will solve a lot of problems for you. All right, guys, I got to give my daughter a bath, a shower, and I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Watch this video over again. Let it sink in. Love and light twos. I'll see you later. And if you guys want, I'm doing that um, the reading later on again, okay? Okay, I got you. Bye. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.